Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to show you the latest van build I uh, just finished. Um, calling this the Sportsman model or build, I don't know. Anyways, uh, come on back, I'll show you what we got going. Seems like every time I do one of these, it's super windy. Um, so, here at the back, uh, client wanted, you know, obviously lots of storage. This is uh, about 50 plus inches long, this drawer here. Locking in and out. Uh, we got some more storage over here. Everything's locking, so it's nice and secure. We got two drawers like that, and then threw in a little, uh, little extra cutting board shelf for whatever. And let's see, that's the back. Um, it, there's a lot of dead space in here, and so I just added some some cubby covers. There's a big giant compartment that goes way down, um, and there's some covers here for that. Um, that's where the that's where the jack and stuff is located. Okay, we'll go inside. Come on, boys, let's go inside. Okay. Go inside. Hello. I'll go inside. You stay outside. Oh, yeah. go inside. He likes the vans. All right. All right, let's, let's, do this. let's show them. <laughs> show them. Okay, why don't you hop up there while I talk about the van, okay? Hop, sit up there. I'm going to talk about the van. You just sit. All right, well, here's the inside. Uh, the floor and insulation was all done. So um, this particular client does a lot of hunting, camping, hiking, and he takes his dog everywhere. So he had to uh, add in a custom little dog kennel to his pup's specs and um, this bed along with that big drawer in the back the bed flips up and there's uh, storage underneath that will be under the bed um, got fresh water lights we got a nice little dimmer switch for the LEDs inside and there were some little cubbies in the in the van's framework that he kind of wanted to keep, but I just couldn't do it nicely. So um, I found these for his dog toys, and hopefully that works out. Uh, coming over here, um, got a just crammed in as much uh, sink and counter as, as I could fit in this. Um, we've got. 100 amp hour battery, definitely expandable. A thousand watt inverter that will run a little space heater. And we got five gallons fresh water, five gallons gray water. So running water. Um, and all of this is hooked up to the truck when it's running, the batteries will charge. Um, uh, so no solar on this one yet, but I did put in a shore power plug on the outside that runs in here. And so when he's plugged in, it actually has a little trickle charger that'll keep the battery charged. Um, but with everything that's in here, it should last a long time. So little little LED TV and uh, this, is, uh, this is the latest. We did a dark stain on the ceiling and then I whitewashed everything else. Um, just so it wasn't too dark and gloomy. He kind of wanted a two tone, so. Um, we're about to go and deliver it, and I hope he likes it. So, what is this one? One. one? Pine. This is pine. Hmm. Is this one? This pine. You like it? Yeah. Is this one? And I think somebody. I mean, if you had somebody that's short, somebody could sleep up there, I guess. But uh, yeah, the bed is. Uh, I think we went six foot five length on the bed. Cause he's kind of tall but um six foot five and then once his mattress is in it's about 38 inches wide so snug for two but it's camp gotta gotta stay warm all right let's go deliver it well that's the latest build uh if you guys have any comments or questions suggestions 
please like and share and comment subscribe to the channel we're going to be doing a bus build we got another van coming in next week and we're going to be doing a whole series of videos on a on flipping a house so we're starting that right now so those will start coming about every probably week or two we'll post a video but uh yeah look us up bba woodworks booth bus adventures see you guys next time